I'm Marshall Goldfarb, I'm in BMOS fourth year and I'm running for your USC president. I'm from Toronto so there's not really a town part to it. Um, I love the big city feel, I love the shopping and stuff, um, but that's why I love coming to Western because I get that town feeling here. and I get that uh, community and family feeling that uh, I wasn't so fortunate to have growing up in Toronto, like you couldn't go around knocking your neighbor's door, it wasn't exactly the safest thing to do, but here it's the Western community. so. It would have to be the lead singer of Nickelback. Now I know everyone hates Nickelback and uh, a lot of people say, you know what, they don't deserve to be where they are, but he's been named, uh, or they've been named best band of the decade. Um, and you know what, he's led the band and he, he's really inspired a lot of people, so to get to that point you really gotta step it up and really sing his heart out. And, yeah, good for him. I'm a huge fan of the athletics program here. Um, I kind of take that from uh, American football and that style, how they, not just their football, but their whole athletic program. People get so excited about their schools, like they have 100,000 people stadiums and only 20,000 people at their school, but they still fill the stadiums to the T and the, the whole town kind of marches out to the stadium every Saturday and they, uh, they have their barbecues out, they have all that out. Um, and that's kind of what I want to see at Western, like people, people getting not just behind the school, but getting behind uh, Mustang Athletics. So a big part of my campaign is we're going to start promoting that. We want to promote that spirit. So through promotion and better distribution of tickets, like all Mustang Athletic games except for the odd uh, special event, we're all free to students, but people didn't know about this and people weren't able to take advantage of this. So we really want to get that name out there. And uh, with the use of tailgating involved uh, at the stadium, we really want to promote that, that school spirit and, and fill the stands with uh, 11,000 fans. And, get people really cheering the Mustangs, like, go Mustangs, go. And, no, I'm not really a guy that talks in the mirror. I'm not really that prep talk kind of guy. I just look at things and uh, kind of say, you know what, let's just do it. Let's just have fun. It's only going to last for so long. Uh, just enjoy the moment. Really uh, live for what you're doing. Um, and if that doesn't work, I just go on with butterflies and I pray to God that they disappear very fast. So. And I'm not, I'm not the politician character, I'm the everyday man. I'm the guy that you see on the streets, the guy that you, you speak to, the guy that has lived what you lived, and not the politicians. Because when we, we think of politicians, we think of Barack Obama, or uh, our Prime Minister, and, uh, or our USC uh, politicians, and we think, well, they're kind of in a separate category. They're kind of politicians, and they say stuff, and they do stuff, and they make all this law, but they don't really relate to us. Like They're making laws, but they're not really living how we're living anymore. And that's really what I'm trying to, to get across to people, that, you know what, I'm not stuck in that. I'm, I'm separate from that. I've lived with you. I've, I've been with you. I've, I've breathed like you and eaten like you and, and spent all the things you're spending your money on and do all the things you're doing, that that's what makes me different. And, and that's why I'm, I'm the everyday person. The president is responsible for everyone, and anybody should be able to approach the president regardless of what the topic is. If they have an academic issue, they're having a problem with one of their professors or, or a friend, they should be able to go to a leader in the community. And that's really what I want to bring, like someone people can relate to, someone people can talk to, and just a personal, friendly me that I hope everyone will get to know.